Hi guys, I'm Arjun and you're back with The Food Plant. So today I'm going to show you how to make some pineapple upside down cake. So this cake comes out really nice, light and airy, like a sponge cake, but of course we're not going to be using any eggs. And of course the best part about an upside down cake is you don't have to ice it. Cook it, flip it over and you're done. So let's get started. Okay, so start by preheating your oven to 180 degrees and take a bowl and put in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and one cup of almond milk. Make sure when using almond milk, always go for unsweetened almond milk. All right, give it a bit of a stir and uh, just leave that to the side for now. Okay, take a bowl, put in one and a half cups of plain flour and add to that a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and just a pinch of salt. Alright, let's give that a quick mix. Okay, back to the milk mixture. As you can see, the milk split, which is what we're after. So now add to that one tablespoon of lemon juice, a third of a cup of coconut oil, a quarter of a cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And this mixes together. Okay, so take that flour mixture that you just put together and just pour the milk mixture into it. And then just beat this until it's uh, smooth and lump free. Okay, that's what we're going for. It's a nice smooth battle. All right, <clears throat> now we just need to get on to the uh, next stage, which is the fruit. Okay, now for the fun bit, what we're gonna do is take some pineapple to start with, um, because this is a pineapple upside down cake, and just start laying it across the base of your pan. So this pan I've used here is about 25 centimeters across, circle tin. I've just lined to the bottom with some what do you call it, greaseproof paper, just so we can get the cake out easily. So just lie these down in, I don't know, any sort of pattern you like, really. Okay, I've got some dried apricots here, so put those in. And just to finish, I've got a few uh, raisins which I'll fill in the gaps with. Okay, so that's basically it. So this will, of course, make the uh, top of the cake. So now we just need to get the batter onto that. So you take your cake batter and just lightly pour it over the top. Just make sure everything's filled in. Okay, just even it out. All right, and bake this in your 180 degree oven for 35 minutes. Okay, here it is. Um, it's finished cooking. I've got it out of the oven. So now for the uh, moment of truth, let's have a look what it looks like on the top. Of course, I have flipped the cake upside down if you haven't figured that out yet, but yeah, here it is. Yeah. Looks pretty good. So you can see that's the pattern that we put onto the bottom, which is now, of course, the top. 
and that's basically it. So of course, like I said, good effect, no need to ice it, it's good to go as it is. So there it is finished up. <clears throat> so as you saw in the reveal just a second ago, looks pretty good. Um, it's going to be a really, sh a real showstopper at any dinner table, to be honest. Um, but of course, now we're going to taste it, see what it tastes like.